Hey there, pipesters. Still drinking. Video response time. And this is for Mr. 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 <coughs> this is for Mr. Matthew Duquette. July pipe giveaway. Or pipe contest. Now, uh, Mr. Duquette had asked that we start a conversation and to be entered for his July pipe contest. Um, he has a very um, beautiful pipe. Dang it. Uh, I know the guy's name. Start over. Uh, Mr. Duquette's July pipe contest giveaway. Um, he has a Heslin pipe and some Averstone mead that he is giving away. And he wants um, to strike up a conversation. And I actually kind of like um, that topic. Uh, or that topic, I guess. Fuck, I don't know. It's too early. My brain still hasn't gotten up yet. I've got done making like two other videos. And in all of them, I'm just tongue-tied, twisted, and confused brain. I think it was a tobacco I snorted, which I don't recommend. Nicotine is not dead. Forget it. Fucking forget it. I'm done. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, strike up a conversation with Matthew Dubay. Matthew Duquette. Um, well, Matthew, I noticed uh, behind you in your video because um, I'm kind of taking this in the context of if we were sitting in your living room together or, or whatever talking you know strike up a conversation so if you could I've noticed um, that area that you're sitting is pretty cool man if you could kind of um, show me around a little bit I noticed uh, on the far left of the frame, there's a little cool, maybe antique-ish lamp. Um, you got like a hanging, a hanging plant there with an old-timey light, which is cool because um, I'm, I, I hope that's what it is. It's it's hard for me to see, but um, me and my brother has been looking for cigar boxes to make um, desk lamps with, and you get the old-timey Thomas Edison big ass bulbs and it just looks beautiful um, so uh, we're kind of on the hunt for a certain uh, cigar box um, so that we can make different uh, desk lamps with them or just lamps you know not necessarily desk lamps but uh, different lamps with them so I'm kind of excited when I saw uh, that lamp on your desk which I'm hoping that it is and it's not like a shoe or something I just can't make it out but um Anyway, I've also got a couple of glimpses of, uh, gosh, is it whiskey on your desk there? A couple of bottles, uh, only about a third of the way full. You've been hitting the whiskey, huh? And then um, a couple of other of your videos, I, I noticed you reach behind to that table uh, for your cool cigar, fuck, cigar, your cool pipe tobaccos. Um, if you could, you know... If I could see those, man, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I noticed you make a lot of your labels, too. Um, when you were triple stacking your um, bowls like that English gentleman. I think he's English. Foreign gentleman. I'll leave it at that. Um, and what was funny was I had just got through watching that video not too long ago. Um, I had seen your video about it. And even before I had seen his video, um, what I had liked, what I liked to do was I actually <clears throat> did something of a similar nature. And what I would do 
what I would take my, because I got sample packs, it's Atlantis Chocolate Mousse. So I get my Chocolate Mousse. I got Peter Street, Peter Street 21 Black Vanilla. And then I have another vanilla. And, oh yeah, here. <clears throat> McClellan VBC Vanilla Black Cavendish. So these three, I would shove into my bowl and I would make sure it's a pretty good side bowl. And just smoke the shit out of it because they're all good individually. And I was thinking, man, chocolate and vanilla or chocolate mousse and black vanilla. Mm. Mm. Shit, son. And then the cherry bonbon, um, I would throw in there occasionally. Um, just to cherry it up a little bit. But I use it sparingly just because I'm getting cherried out. Uh, I think any kind of berry now I'm getting kind of over it. I overdid it on the berry blend from uh, J.M. Boswell's. And, you know, I bought a bunch of peaches and cream and just a whole bunch of cherry berry stuff. I'm just, I'm just fucking berried out. So I kind of... use the berry very scarcely anyway man if you could just yeah take me around your room dude i just i noticed the whiskey i noticed the light um a couple of bottles of uh, your tobacco i noticed your own labels i love the cute fo frog um you had frog mortons and then you know it was a little frog and then cellar and then frog and then bayou or you know whatever <clears throat> whatever you had i thought that was pretty neat um What else did I see back there? I'm trying to remember. I'm just going from memory here. Um, yeah, I would assume, you know, your pipes are on the desk too, you know, just if you want to go through that, I wouldn't mind just taking a quick peek at your little stash there. I think it's a cool backdrop, by the way. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can't really make it out. It looks like you got like a little shelf there with some knickknacks and stuff on it. So, you know, if we were there t shooting the shit, you know, I'd, I'd want to strike up a conversation about your little uh, tobacco station, if you will. But yeah, that's my entry, I guess. Um, thanks again for the contest. And you guys stay smoky.